do a little happy dance and I'm like, yes. This morning, I woke up thinking about ways in which sewing has actually changed me and made me appreciate certain things a little better. And I thought, huh, this may make an interesting video. So I actually have 10 things that I would like to share with you. Okay, so the very first thing is sewing has given me a greater appreciation for measurements and numbers. I was never good at math but sewing has definitely helped as far as measurements and knowing what a quarter inch is and a half inch and five eighths of an inch. Those are things that I never really paid attention to before. And I feel that I took a ruler for granted. I had to pull my ruler out and count by eighths to actually figure out what makes an inch. And I just never really, I guess, cared about those things before. But since I've been sewing, I have really honed in on those different measurements and I feel good knowing that I am better at measurements. Number two is I will never get too comfortable. So I will do a technique over and over again, but I have learned that if there is a technique that I haven't done in a long time, and I need to do it again, I definitely will get rusty. So I will never get to the point where I feel like, okay, I got it. You know, I think that it depends on how often I'm doing something as to whether I can say I got it. But if it's something I haven't done for a long time, even though I felt like I may have gotten it in the past, I know and realize that I just may not have it as much as I thought I did because I always have to go back and look up things again just as a refresher. So I feel like I will never get too comfortable. Third, I now can truly appreciate and recognize well-made garments. So if I am out looking at something that someone is wearing and I see that the lines are matching, the pattern prints are all lined up and looking great, I have a better appreciation for that kind of thing. I look at those garments and go, wow, you know, that's nice. Someone took the time to make sure everything lined up nicely. And those are things that I never really paid attention to before, but I definitely do now. And it's something that I have definitely come to appreciate. I now think outside of the box. This is number four. So before, especially when I first started sewing, I would just look at the pattern and think that it had to be made just the way that it was on the envelope and I never thought of making it or trying any other way to come up with the garment. But now I definitely think outside of the box. So if I see a pattern that has a nice top or a bodice but it has a dress or skirt on the bottom and it's actually a full dress, I have learned that, hey, you could just take a piece, you could take the top or the bottom of that particular garment and use that as your finished garment. So instead of sewing the whole dress, you could just take the top and use that portion, or you could just take the bottom and wear the skirt. You can, you can also take a garment if it has sleeves, but say you don't have enough fabric, you can make it sleeveless. I've also learned to think outside of the box when it comes to using my scraps, which is something I did not do in the past. I used to take my scraps and just get rid of them, but now I have found ways to be a little more creative and use scraps. So I have definitely learned how to think outside of the box. Now sewing has also tapped into my giving spirit. I love sharing and it's just so comforting when you make something and you have someone that you can share it with who will appreciate it. So I really, really love that about sewing and I feel like I'm giving because I am able to share something with someone that hopefully will help them in some way or another, whether it's a garment or you know maybe a technique that I've learned that I can just share with others. And so I feel like a letting go is happening when I share something something because I feel like I'm not keeping it to myself but I'm putting it out there so that it can hopefully help someone else. So for number six, I am much more patient. I will spend time looking up a technique to make sure that I get it right. I will undo things that I get wrong much more than I used to in the past and I sew slower than I used to. I used to be like gotta get it done no matter what doesn't matter what it looks like, I'm just getting it out there. But I've definitely learned to slow down and be more patient. 
Number seven, I have become a better shopper. I don't buy clothes and shop for clothes like I used to. When I do go shopping or I do find clothes that I'm interested in, I find that I am turning them inside out and looking at the garments to see how they're done, how they're finished, if there's something that I can take away so that I can go back to my sewing room and maybe apply those techniques to some garments that I'm making. Number eight, a sense of empowerment. I feel just so empowered when I am struggling with something and then I'm able to figure it out. It doesn't always happen that I'm able to figure it out, but on the times when it does happen, I just feel so good. I feel like a superwoman. I feel like I have just conquered something and it is just a great feeling. So a sense of empowerment. Number nine, a boost in self-esteem. It just feels so amazing when someone, and especially a stranger, compliments me on something that I'm wearing that I have made. And when I am out and someone does compliment me, I don't say, oh, I made it. I just simply say, thank you. And then when I'm somewhere by myself, I do a little happy dance and I'm like, yes, I made it. So I'll say it to myself, but I don't tell the person. Now, if they ask me, I will share, but no, I don't just come out and say, oh, I made it. You know, I think I'm a little shy. I don't do that. I just say, thank you. And I keep it moving. But when I get by myself, Yes, I do a little dance. And number 10, I feel changed because I am a better person because of all of you who watch and support me. It just feels so good to make a connection and build relationships with all of you. It is just a wonderful, wonderful feeling. So those are the 10 things that I wanted to share about how sewing has changed me definitely for the better. Now, before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So I have to read this one. I read quite a bit of them, so I'm going to read this one as well. In the winter, ceiling fans should rotate clockwise at a low speed to pull cool air up and push warm air down. And then in the summer, ceiling fans should rotate counterclockwise to push the cool air down to the floor. Never ever knew that.